The National Weather Service says New England could get slammed. Our interior sections, um, Worcester um, to the Berkshires, up into the Monadnocks of southern New Hampshire, uh, we're looking anywhere from 8 to 14 inches storm total before there's any changeover. Hundreds of flights have been canceled. In the West, they could use some precipitation. It's mid-December, but firefighters say that shouldn't fool anybody in California into thinking the fire season is over. It's dry and Santa Ana winds are here. L.A. Fire Inspector Scott Miller says resources are coming in from Northern California. We are locating strike teams strategically throughout the county and areas that we consider to be high risk. There's a mini heat wave coming as well by Monday. The high in L.A. is expected to be above 80 degrees. Alex Stone, ABC News, Los Angeles. One year ago today, the holiday spirit that many of us were feeling was interrupted by the heartbreak at Connecticut Sandy Hook Elementary. Today we look back at the worst elementary school shooting in U.S. history. For many of the families in Newtown, Connecticut, this is the worst tragedy a parent can ever think of. The memories of what happened a year ago still may be hard to bear. She heard a scream and she heard uh, a gunshot or two, uh, two gunshots. This young man and spoke the on the day of the lockdown. shootings about his sister and who was they, at the school. They, she was in art class and they had to hide in the closet. His sister survived, I mean, saved by a quick thinking teacher. Richard Davies, ABC News. A 17-year-old student shot by a classmate at her suburban Denver high school is still in critical condition. The gunman, also a student who was targeting a teacher, took his own life. You're listening to ABC News. Hey, neighbor. I have a list of things that need fixing, and my husband needs tools. Easy. Right now we have great deals on tools and tool accessories, like DeWalt accessory sets, each only $9.99. Nice. I can take care of his wish list, and he can take care of mine. Getting help at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Stop by now through Saturday and save on great gifts, like select DeWalt power tool accessories for only $9.99 each. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Offer valid now through December 31st at participating stores. Store stock only. See store for details. This holiday season, personalcreations.com is your home for unique decor and memorable personalized gifts for all your loved ones. This week only, Personal Creations has hundreds of heartwarming gifts and festive decorations for up to 40% off. Adorable, customizable ornaments, stockings and seasonal decor, kitchenware, and tons of other incredible gifts, all up to 40% off. But hurry, this incredible offer expires this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this amazing deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click the orange star in the upper right-hand corner and enter the special code 800. There are some new and very graphic recordings from a deadly wildfire in Arizona. They show the urgency of the Granite Mountain hotshots as they tried to escape the flames of that fire last June. 19 members of the elite firefighting squad were killed. Only one who was the point out look at lookout that day survived. Parents of students at a California college want a vaccine that hasn't yet been approved for use here in the U.S. Parents of UC Santa Barbara students are asking for the vaccine Bexero to help with an on-campus meningitis outbreak. It's reported that four students are infected. At Princeton University, the vaccine was used for a similar outbreak where eight students had the disease. UCSB student Arlene Gonzalez. We've all been taking certain measures I'm um, trying to stay in and not sharing drinks and whatnot. Meningitis is spread through close contact with an infected person. Dave Schreiber, ABC News. Florida State University quarterback Jameis Winston is the favorite to win the Heisman Trophy tonight. The freshman led the Seminoles to a perfect record and to a spot in the BCS championship game against Auburn. His road to the Heisman, however, was cleared last week when prosecutors in Tallahassee, Florida, decided that they would not file sexual assault charges against him over a complaint that dated back to last year. This is ABC News. Want to cut a big flooring deal? Then get to Lumber Liquidators Holiday Coupons Flooring Sale. Save up to 10% on our incredibly low prices on pre-finished hardwood and beautiful bamboo. Save up to 20% on laminate, vinyl plank, and tools. Plus, save up to $500 on any Bella Wood pre-finished floor and get special financing and gift cards, too. Don't miss it. Sales going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com or your store for your holiday flooring coupons today. Minimum monthly payment required. Financing subject to credit approval. Daria Albinger, ABC News. The opportunities are red hot in the Houston economy. Ask yourself... 
Am I positioned to prosper from the financial boom happening right now? Whether you work from a 1099 or a W-2, each week, Johnny Profit with the Executive Entrepreneur will help you leverage your talent, experience, and connections. Act now. Business-minded people just like you deserve a piece of prosperity from the world's energy capital. Phone lines are open. Dial 713-622-6397. Follow us on your social media platform of choice at EE Hour or email your questions and comments to online at eehour.com. Now here's your host, Johnny Profit. All right, welcome. It's a uh, about a week before the, the festivities kick off, all right? You know, That's right. get to hang out and open presents or do whatever makes you feel good. Welcome to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. It is I, Johnny Profit. In studio with me, I have Shay. Hey, Shay. Hello. Good afternoon. Well, that was good afternoon. Back to you. Thank you. (laughs) Daniel's over here with me. He's got headphones on today so he can hear you. And Joel's in there uh, making it sound really great. So with that said, today is a holiday treat. It's a special episode. It's just us hanging out, just you and I, just the microphone and your radio or your internet. One of the things I want to talk about today... um, has to do with the, the language of entrepreneurship and economics and why things work for some and don't work as well for others. And it was, uh, you know, I, I have a great team surrounding me, and a lot of times uh, <clears throat> they hit that little electric thing around my neck, that collar, to bring me back in check when I get too far out. Um, but I think they're going to turn it off for a minute to let me speak my mind. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Yeah, so I want to talk about the whole... Uh, concept of really understanding how the world works around you. Most people that I, I, I meet to live in a vacuum. They live in a bubble, okay? So it, it doesn't matter how long you've been a banker or how long you've been um, executive director or how long you've been in marketing at XYZ company. or None of that really matters um, when we start talking about the language of economics because what happens is you're so fixated on your excellence and your rise to the top in your small nuclei that you feel you are just great. And then you get out there and you start professing as though you are great, yet we don't really see results. So I want to help you. I really want to help you because I need more people to uh, hang out with, do business with. It's a huge, booming global economy. The market is incredible right now. But for some reason, when I open my mouth, it's though uh, I speak 100 languages and the people around me usually speak one or two at best. And so they look at me like, yeah, I know. I don't know what you said, but yeah, I know. What did he say? Pretty much. <laughs> like, he was mean. Because, uh, you know, part of it has to do with there's just so many conflicting interests at hand. And I don't think people have enough experience or time to realize, like, there's more than one player or role in the game. And that's usually what the, the power, privilege, and perception thing was about. But we reshaped it to be more about the language of economics to help those that are in charge, well, become better economic leaders. Because it's great to lead your tribe, but it's even better to lead the world. And so we're going to talk, on, talk about some of the roles and some of the, the folks that are involved, the different areas that I think if you could speak the language of, dot, 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 you would have a lot more success. You would have a lot less time um, spending with experts, and advocates, um, and it just you just have a, a much better experience in this whole game of business and and career and things like that. So, let's go check on the traffic and the weather, which are both kind of a uh, this is under the blanket kind of stuff today. So, we'll go to break when we come back. Let's talk language. News 92 FM, weekend traffic. So far, so good. No accidents, stall vehicles, or debris to slow you down. Do be mindful there is, uh, well, there is some slow traffic. And it could be simply because of uh, holiday shoppers out there. And uh, we began with I-45, the North Freeway, outbound between I-10 and Woodlands Parkway. That uh, that stretch in pretty good shape, actually, about a 30-minute drive time. Hardy Toll Road, outbound between 610, the North Loop, and 45 North Freeway, showing about a 25-minute delay. There is uh, no major problems on 59 East Texas Freeway outbound between 45 and FM 1960. And uh, pretty much maybe a m- minimal delay on uh, I-10 Baytown East Freeway inbound between the uh, San Jacinto River and 59 East Texas Freeway. At last check, about a 21-minute 21, 21 drive time. 
Highway 225 Laporte Freeway outbound between 610 East Loop and Highway 146 showing no delays. I-45 Gulf Freeway outbound between 59 and NASA Parkway in good shape. I'm Ben Martin, News 92 FM, 24-hour traffic. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez. The afternoon forecast looks a little bit sunnier than it's been in a long time. The rain is gone. The fog is gone. Sunny weather returns again on Sunday, but we're going to be very cool. Highs today near 60 degrees. Tomorrow, mid-50s. Overnight numbers in the low to mid-30s in the suburbs back to the north and west. We could see mid-30s here in the metro Houston area. Very cold. The winds die off on Sunday, but the sun returns, but it's still going to be very chilly. Look for that warming trend to start up in earnest around Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which temperatures hitting the mid 70s and the even low 70s in stride by the end of the work week. Let's quick look at your extended weather forecast. Rain returns by the end of the work week on Friday and on Saturday. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez from the Key HOU 11 Weather Center. New Way Surgical Weight Loss Program has been around since 1991, helping thousands of people secure insurance approval and deal with the challenges that surround weight loss surgery. Our only business is helping people like you to lose 80 or more pounds. We have the time, tools, and talent that it takes to help you achieve your long-term weight loss goals. For help, call New Way, 713-795-0200. That's 713-795-0200. Welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. Remember, you can watch and listen to our show at www.eehour.com. Call 713-622-6397. Again, that's 713-622-6397 to join in. Now back to our program. All right, back to the program. Hum. Um, I'm finding my inner peace if you're watching this right now. Shay's finding hers as well. Daniel's typing with his eyes closed. We're all finding our inner peace so that I can deliver this message in a way that reaches the audience. Okay, so <sighs> check us out on Ustream as well. Johnny Prophet. Go to eehour.com. Click on the thing that says watch us, and it should take you to a link theoretically in the world of web. But anyway, back to this language thing. This is how I came to be since, you know, and I think Stephanie just pulled into the studio as well. Shay, thank you for my birthday treat. Anytime. I'm an aficionado of brownies. <laughs> That's and in the, in the look that went over your Yes, eyes. yes. I, I have inner peace right now behind a brownie. So, <clears throat> look, if you've had trouble growing your business or rising, as we say, climb the corporate ladder, if you had problems, allow me to help you a little for free, Okay. Usually what I've found is there's a language barrier between those that want to do and those that have the ability to help you actually do it. And it's you think just because the both of you are speaking the, the same tongue, English, if it may be, you think because you're evenly yoked from an educational standpoint that this should work out. And you think because in your past you've had success at doing something that things should just flow. It's just it just flow, you know, and if not, you get a few more followers and write a book and get a radio show. Um, so the reality of it is you really need to understand that everybody in the game has a different position. So as I've mentioned several times, folks that actually own stuff, own stuff that makes money, let me clarify, own stuff that makes money, have a completely different agenda, motive, language than those that are there to protect it, say like government. So your government officials are not going to speak the same language that someone that owns something of value that's making money. They just don't say the same things. They wear the same suits. They walk around town in the same cars and go to the same restaurants. But when you walk up to them and start a conversation, they're thinking two totally different things. It's literally like talking to a husband and a wife. You could say something that's either going to attract one and offend the other or vice versa. But we don't think about it because you assume because both of you can throw up your college sign and give some that's my coat that you're evenly yoked mentally on your desires and your aspirations. And then you fail to understand that those in corporate, the folks that sit behind a computer and come home tired each day, those folks have a completely different agenda than the government people and the owners. But you talk to them the exact same way and you can't understand why your business isn't growing. You think you're going to Facebook and link and profile and Google AdWord your way to the top. No, it's not going to happen. So then you turn around and you start talking to, say, like the small business owner. 
and you want to get your stuff in the store, you want to do whatever, and you're thinking the small business owner is thinking like a corporate person. They don't have the resources to do that. And then you're thinking that the small business owner should understand that your political views are one way and they should relate to you, but they don't. Then it gets so bad, you start talking to working class people and you assume that you can hire people, bring on people saying the same thing. My company is X, Y, Z. My mission statement is to save the world. I'm going to do all this and I'm going to start my purpose and mission as if they're going to read it and think, I see something in it for me. And they don't. So then we get down to the people who buy your stuff. And the majority of you that bring your stuff to us, whether it's content for website, movie production, or whatever, you bring it to Daniel, you bring him this, look how great I am. Look how wonderful I am. When everybody that makes real money understands one thing, especially these sensationalists, these folks that go all in, they understand one important thing. I'm either supposed to scare you to death or make you feel so good about life, you would jump off the side of a cliff just for the rush. And here you are stuck in the middle, trying to attract consumers to your store by saying, we've been here for 10 years, and we've been on Facebook for 20, and I went to the University of whatever, and I'm really great. And nobody comes, and you keep spending money. And so I want to help you, if possible. This message does not fit everyone. I understand that. But I want to help you understand If you could learn the language of economic leaders, it doesn't matter if you run a nonprofit, if you're climbing the corporate ladder, it doesn't matter. I'm sitting here at 44 today. Well, I was 44 the other day, but 44 years of years of years of circling the sun, 44 times around the sun. It looks great still. And I'm thinking people just don't get it because you're being consumed by experts. And instead of broadening your mind, They're actually shrinking, compacting, and narrowing your your field of vision. And so you think right now, with your non-able-to-scale-up self, that social media is the answer. And you think in your non-able-to-grasp what an owner really wants, to understand what the governmental folks really need, to think about what the corporate liaisons really want out of you, you're going to sit out there and you're going to figure out a new way to waste a lot of money to do absolutely nothing. Because what I've found over the years of doing business is you don't have to be too smart to make $1.2 million a year. I'm going to just tell you that right now. You really don't have – trust me, you do not have to be too smart to make $1.2 million a year unless you're stuck in a mindset of a consumer or working class or even a small business owner. Because within your world, speaking your language, very few people around you outside of professional athletes – Speak million dollar terms in the working class environment. So I want you to start taking in these languages. And that's why we created the workshop. And so here's the pitch. Here's the deal. This week and this week only, the folks down at the Urban League said, hey, John, go out there and really make them mad. Do what it is you do when you just, yeah, just do it. (laughs) Because I was going to do it last week over my birthday, but I had to finish exams. Okay. So I said, okay, okay, okay. So Tuesday evening, 6.30, we're going to talk about the language. Downtown, free parking. You don't have to compete with baseball or anything. (laughs) Okay? Got plenty of seating, and maybe they'll throw some drinks in, non-alcoholic beverages. They'll throw some in. I don't know. Who knows? But you're coming there to get the message, and we can have fun like that. Okay? And then, again, if, you know, by chance you can't make it because you got Christmas parties, and you're going to walk in there not knowing the language and say the wrong thing and still have the same job, if any job, next year, or have the same clients, if no clients, next year. Um, we also extended it to do an encore on Thursday as well. So both of these are at 630. Um, we're going to start sharp because I was going to start it for six, but I want to mess with it. And what we're going to talk about is this really cool slide I put together years ago. And I only share it with a handful of people because, I mean, why would I want to tell you all my cookies? You know, I I just, there's no reason to. So with that said, when we come back, go to eehour.com to get more information about it. Daniel's going to tweet it out as well. But we're going to go to break. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to talk about um, why I'm not a fan of services and why I'm sitting on a GoPet scooter in studio. If you're watching, go to Ustream. I'm pointing to you now if you're watching. And I'm pointing to you if you see this later on, archived. But uh, go check it out, and you're going to find out why those in services really need to reconsider and think about expanding into products. We'll be right back. It 
took one hour to think up an idea, three months to get a business loan, two months to find the space, and five weeks later came the first return customer. All told, it took two years to bring your idea to life. So why wouldn't you take 20 minutes to make your business better? Introducing the Comcast Business 20-Minute Advantage. If we can't offer you faster speed or better savings on your current business internet or phone service, we'll give you $150 for your time. Call us and get your Comcast Business 20-Minute Advantage today. Call 800-501-6000. See what 20 minutes can do for your business. Offer ends 12-31-13 and is not available to current Comcast business customers. Not available in all areas. Excludes Ethernet service. Proof of Internet speed and competitive bill within the last 60 days required. $150 in the form of a prepaid card. One prepaid card per company. Call for restrictions and complete details. News 92 FM. Weekend traffic. Good afternoon, everyone. Crews have cleared a major hot spot, 610 West Loop northbound, approaching 59, the Southwest Freeway. That accident, again, is gone, but still stopping over the most part from Beach Nut, so be mindful as you drive through that stretch. Otherwise, stretches begin with uh, I-45 North Freeway inbound between Woodlands Parkway and I-10, showing no major delays. Hardy Toll Road inbound between 45 North Freeway and 610, the North Loop, in pretty good shape, actually. 59 East X Freeway inbound between FM 1960 and 45. Uh, expect about a 25-minute drive time. I-10 Baytown East Freeway inbound between the San Jacinto River and 59 East X Freeway. About 21 minutes inside that stretch. Highway 225 of the Port Freeway inbound between Highway 146 and 610 the East Loop. No delays at last check. That's in pretty good shape. And 288 South Freeway inbound between Highway 6 and 59 Southwest Freeway. No delays reported at uh, last check. I'm Ben Martin, News 92 FM, 24-hour traffic. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez with the afternoon forecast. Hints of sunshine all over southeast Texas. Uh, we did have a blanket of fog early in the day. That is gone now. So for the rest of the day, north winds very windy through the course of the day. Because of that, our temperatures might be up to 60, but it's going to feel much colder than that. A windbreaker in order for the afternoon. Tonight, the winds die down. The temperatures really drop like a rock. We could see frosty weather north of town with mid-30s here in the metro area come Sunday morning. Sunshine is back on Sunday, but it's still chilly. Temperature Temperature is not much warmer than the mid-50s. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez from the Key to U11 Weather Center. News 92 FM is proud to bring you this holiday greeting from our local military men and women. <laughs> Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Stephanie Berg. This is my husband Jeremiah and our kids, Chloe and Jackson. We're stationed at Indrilik Air Base, Turkey. Just want to say happy holidays to my grandmother, Irene, my aunt and uncle, and my cousins in Friendswood, Texas. We miss you, we love you, and we hope you have a happy holidays. Hi, my name is Chief Petty Officer Stephen McClellan. I'm here in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and I'd like to wish happy holidays back to my family in Seabrook, Texas. Happy holidays, I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. Remember, you can watch and listen to our show at www.eehour.com. Call 713-622-6397. Again, that's 713-622-6397 to join in. Now back to our program. All right, and welcome back. So uh, if you're watching and you can't hear what's going on, that's probably best. All right, go to eehour.com to check us out on Ustream. We're uh, EE Hour uh, on Ustream. So Coach Steph just stepped into the studio and put some headphones on. Oh, she's a marketing professor and all that other stuff, and she has a show, a radio show, and and she's a business person. You know, everybody in here is business oriented. Today. That's what you want to do today? That's what I'm saying, okay? okay. People are driving around listening to this. They want to know why she's talking, okay? Okay. So, look, if, if you're watching, I got the cookie. Coach Steph just brought me from <laughs> the wonderful folks at Cookies by Design over off of 2524 Rice Boulevard here in Houston, Texas. That's 77005. Is that a good shout out? I think that was a great shout That's out. It's a beautiful cookie. It is. Makes you not want to eat of it. Lots calories. Yeah. I'm in my daughter's shirt right now. It's I know, super so small. you might not want to eat that. <laughs> right. So okay. I don't want to like fluff up while I'm on air. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so getting back to uh step before you got here, we were talking about the language, that that craziness I talked. Yeah. The stuff that was able to propel a young urban no, <clears throat> a young what would I be? Rural child to <laughs> success on the air and in business around the world. 
Yeah. So I learned the language early on because, you know, I got to live in a lot of different cultures and that's mm-hmm. what total submersion does for you. But um, I was going to tell you why I'm not a big fan of uh, people who stick to the service industry. So I'm perusing around on said uh, website because I was bored for the moment and I just needed some entertainment and I don't watch that show that everybody else watches. So um, I was sitting there and I, I seen this thing that I see over and over again where people that work from intellectual property, their brain power, are always talking about, I'm tired of people picking my brain. So I keep hearing the pick my brain, pick my brain, pick my brain. And then, you know, just coming out of school, that's all you do in school is pick brain, cite material, pick brain, cite material. And so it kind of hit me like, why are they complaining about others asking them questions and not paying for it since I've been doing it for a long time? And then it dawned on me because they don't actually own anything. And so the sad part about it is if you don't own anything and you're borrowing everybody else's stuff, it's real easy for them to jack your stuff as well. And it just, you know, I keep thinking, well, just think if they had a product. And so, as you can see, I'm sitting here on the GoPet scooter. Go to mygopet.com to check out the scooter and all the cool things that it can do. I think I'm going to, like, enter it into, like, some super races or something. Take it over to K1. But the point is, when you have a product, you control the world. When you have a service that's built on, I'm going to help people start their company, um, good luck with that. And I want you, if that's how you've been making a living, to eventually somehow find a product somewhere in there. And not a book. Not a book. An actual product. A product. I don't care if it's love lotion. I don't care if it's like um, edible flowers. I don't care if it's helicopters. I don't care. Find something. And so there's a difference between construction that seems like a service, but to me, they build products. IT is product. So you're like, I'm going to launch a company, I'm going to launch a website, and I'm going to launch the biggest social media. No, you're not, because Google, Facebook, and all those other, quote, services are products. You know, they're online platforms. And so you get caught up in thinking that the reason all these people are here is because they were popular. No, it's because they had incredible infrastructures and the best engineers in the world build an excellent product. Yahoo, Amazon, all that stuff is behind that. So I want each of you to challenge yourself, especially if you're struggling, because most of you service people are struggling, because if somebody like myself and the people in the studio uh, are not actually making something, we got a problem. And what struck me even sadder this morning while I was sitting there trying to figure out, what am I going to talk about today on the show? I'm watching and China done put a darn gone spaceship on the moon. Just a few months ago, they announced that they had launched a brand new Navy vessel. While my dear friends here are falling asleep behind scandal parties. What? Sound the alarm. Now think how this shift is going to happen. You got a whole, you got a billion people over there going all in to become better and learn the language. While we got an entire nation over here falling asleep. So I say that because that was one of those things that kind of really irked me and I just kept hearing it and and I'm looking on there and I'm like, well, you know, I got it coming to me because I'm the one that jumped on social media and I'm reading this stuff. And of course, it's going to offend me because you see all that talent, all that, you know, you just, you just, ah. anyway, let's get back to the language thing because the workshops on Tuesday and Thursday, you can come out there, you can check it out. You will have to RSVP, go online. Um, This time I'm not going to make you pay, even though I should, because somebody else is going to pick up the bill. Okay. So it's this courtesy of the Urban League, making it possible for you to come out and listen to me run my mouth. Don't miss it. You need to make sure that you are there. It's excellent information. I can say I've had the pleasure of seeing the presentation. Uh, The first time I saw the presentation, I was like, whoa. Now, what did you think the first time? Yeah, that. There was a pause. Whoa. There was <laughs> right. a, that was not dead air. That was, was not Joel. Like, that was us. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's great information. It's definitely things that you can take away. I think the first time I saw it, it was like, what nugget am I going to hold on to wow. and try to incorporate into my business and um, following up so that I can learn the other languages. So I continue to come to the presentation because I always get something new. So even if you've been there before, uh, I would certainly uh, encourage you to come back because you'll pick up a different piece this time. It was mm-hmm. kind of scary because seconds after I was still editing the Eventbrite registration and there was already somebody signing up. It's kind of scary. Um, Daniel, what do you th- what, what say you? Uh, I think 
about seventy percent of the audience is either really offended or uh, <laughs> right. or or they're they're uh, they just don't get it at all. Yeah, right. and I think another twenty percent is just like frozen stiff, like in shock, like something horrible just happened. Did you just say that. But, <laughs> and then I think one one out of ten seems to walk up and either they're just like a grinding service pro who's like, yeah, I'm tired of it. Right. You hit it right on the head, or they're a corner office corporate type and they're like. I'm tired of being in this office. I want to go out and I want to make about 20 times what I'm making right now. Yeah. That made sense. You're right. I've been in there. I understand it. And they're still waiting for the slide that I'm supposed to send them. Yeah. <laughs> ah. uh, Coach Steph. Yes, John. You have uh, you actually get a headache when you watch it. I was going to say that. I was sitting here listening to everybody sounding so profound, and I'm like, Oh, wow, you first, hear a voice? The first time, this this is the voice okay. of, a, oh, I'm of sorry. a sick person. Stop that. You can't make fun of the sick people. I not mean to you. Can't make fun of this. Oh, you know what? The air. Can you hold that thought? I can. Okay, because what I want to do now is run outside real quick and uh, lick my thumb, stick it in the air, and see which way the wind's blowing. Yeah, we're going to do that. Watch it on Ustream. News 92 FM, weekend traffic. Watch for this one trouble spot. That uh, could certainly slow you down as you head out this afternoon. It's a construction zone, 249 Tomball Parkway, outbound at North Point Boulevard. The left lane is taken away. That's causing delays from Spring Cypress, at least a 25-minute delay. So if you are inside that stretch, just uh, give yourself some extra time as you drive through there. Otherwise, I-45 North Freeway, outbound between I-10 and Woodlands Parkway, in pretty good shape. Hardy Toll Road, outbound between 610 North Loop and 45. The North Freeway showing about a 25-minute delay. 59 East Tex Freeway outbound between 45 and FM 1960 showing no trouble spots, just your normal stop and go. Highway 225 Laporte Freeway outbound between 610 East Loop and Highway 146. You may want to uh, find that to be a nice drive. I-45 the Gulf Freeway outbound between 59 and Nassau Parkway in real good shape at last check. And one other for you, 59 the Southwest Freeway that's going to be outbound between 45 and Highway 99. No major, no major delays. I'm Ben Martin, News 92 FM, 24-hour traffic. Mario Gomez here with the extended weather forecast. You saw it, you felt it overnight, a cool front coming through Houston during the overnight hours. It looks like this morning we're feeling the full impact of it, uh, starting to see some gusty winds through the day today. The fog will dissipate, but sunny skies return, but temperatures stay only in the mid to upper 50s. It'll feel much colder thanks to those gusty, breezy winds out of the northwest throughout the day. Tonight's when you're really going to feel it, very chilly. Overnight numbers with lighter winds down into the mid 30s by Sunday morning. And in the afternoon, we're back up with sunshine shine in the mid 50s plenty of nice sunny weather to start off the work week leading us into a warming trend that begins in earnest on monday wind flow shifts back to the east southeast gradually we'll see that trend of 60 degree numbers on monday mid 60s tuesday near 70 by midweek with uh, low 70s by thursday and friday but cloud cover and moisture do return by the end of the work week a slight chance of showers by friday afternoon i'm meteorologist mario gomez from the khou 11 weather center Hi folks, this is Alan Thicke, and as one of those TV dads, I had to teach the kids about handling money, so here goes. Rule number one, don't mess with the IRS. They're cracking down this year. They can garnish your paycheck, levy your bank account, even your home or business could be up for grabs over unpaid taxes. It's all true. But it's also true that they're offering a new way out. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative, an important government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered, so now's the time. You could qualify for a tax settlement that's 75% lower than before these recent changes. The experts at Optima Tax Relief will work to get you the best deal possible. Don't mess with the IRS. For tax help you need, for tax help you can trust, call Optima for a free consultation. Call 800-343-3585. 800-343-3585. 800-343-3585. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. Remember, you can watch and listen to our show at www.ee. Hour.com. Call 713-622-6397. Again, that's 713-622-6397 to join in. Now back to our program. 
that is some pretty good music, Shay. You're right. I I like that song. I just that dun, took me a long time to find that track bed. We're gonna change it up though soon. Let's do that. Okay, so Stephanie, <laughs> before I had to run outside real quick to see which way the wind was blowing. Yeah. Um, you were saying? Well, I was saying that I was laughing because everybody had these profound takeaways from what you do, and I and you said it. I I got a headache the first yeah. time you did that. I mean, you it's fussed deep. at me for days. I did. Yeah. I wasn't ready. You know, I wasn't. I didn't have any aspirin or anything. It was out of control. Wow. But I think it's. I think it's necessary. I think the way things is necessary in the marketplace. Where so, are my glasses? Where are my glasses? What? No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Most people are blind anyway. They don't need their glasses. They're not trying to hear what you're talking about. They are not. You know, just That's like true. Daniel said, seventy percent are just like, I don't know what just happened. It's like getting mad going into McDonald's because you don't speak Spanish. When you come to my workshop, you're just mad. Because you're like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and so you come to my workshop and you don't speak corporate, you don't speak owner. No, or you don't speak you don't speak one of the languages. <coughs> and literally, there's a cough button right there. <laughs> it's too late for that. <laughs> so learn too late. Keep a big mouth shut. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I told Roda. you not to mess with the sick and shut in and stuff yeah. <laughs> Gonna keep you shut in. Okay, so look. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course, you're right. A lot of people get motivated, and then it, like, sinks in a few days later. So what we're talking about is, uh, I think we're titling this thing, um, Learning the... What? Is, learning the... Language econo- of... Yeah, say it again. Learning the language of economic leaders. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to teach you everything I ever learned, not in my book, but in a workshop, coming that's up next scary. week. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how they always say it. That's so what, what was I'm the afraid. question? You said somebody uh, is tickety-typing away over there. We do... Twitter handle, that video mag. Hey, that video mag. Hey. Uh, the question is, can experts be credible if they cannot show tangible results from their own teachings? Look, you can be credible to anyone that believes you. Because all I have to do is jump online and see a whole lot of people with a whole lot of followers that ain't saying a whole lot of nothing looking at me like, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing, nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, you can. <laughs> Look, as long as people are buying, you're credible, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as long as people believe what it is you're selling, right. yes, you are an expert. Now, as we talked about earlier, um, there's a difference between somebody who can influence people and somebody that can bring real change to markets. You know, so like we we're saying, an expert to me is like going on Google and listening to Eli, the computer guy, and just listening to this guy just go all in about social media, running a company. I mean, this is a guy that doesn't sit there and read off of Mashable. He's a guy that's like, yeah, I spent $80,000 a year on marketing and here are the numbers to show it. And I'm like, I could sit and watch an hour of this guy, you know, um, when I, uh, case in point. So I'll go out there and I'll, I'll, I'll race cars and do all this other stuff. And to sit there with somebody that is just like, I mean, they know their stuff. They've been doing it for years. And I'm like, no, nah, John, you're coming out of your turn. You're accelerating a second and a half too early and on your break. And the biggest difference between the fake expert and the real expert is they can tell you why. That's where I'll pause. Love that. Yeah. I like that. When I really think about it. Yeah. And That's most, good. That's most, deep, John. You know, yeah. can we Come up with that? tweak that? Awesome. <laughs> so if you, and, and it's the same, I mean, even if, you know, physicians, whomever, it doesn't matter. If you sit down with an expert and mm-hmm. they can't tell you why, they can only tell you what, then chances are you're not dealing with an expert. You're dealing with somebody who's just passionate about something and fixated um, in a way. They're kind of like a textbook. They are kind of like a textbook. Mm-hmm. And I just dealt with a whole lot of textbook professors. You're like a library. Because I was at awesome. 50,000 feet when I needed to be at 30. Mm. So, mm. you know, it's just, it's one of those things, you know, and that's why I always frown upon people who throw titles out. Because now you're trying to sit out here and say, you are validated because you went out and regurgitated somebody else's material from said university, and now you're brilliant. When you can't change a tire, you probably can't make toast, and outside of your expertise, which is only limited to what that university happened to want to say was the curriculum and spent money on, you don't know much of anything. Flip flip it around, you get somebody that's just been passionate about it, they love doing it, they read everything on it, they try it, they try it, they actually try it, Mm -hmm. and then they come with their own stories to the game. And so that's why it's hard for me to write papers, because they're like, where'd you get all this material? When I was sitting in office at whatever, <laughs> when I was at the corporate whatever, when I was at the summit, they're like, well, no, no, you got to find material to support that. Like, you got to cite it. You got to cite it. Uh, me, 2013. I don't believe it. Plagiarism, plagiarism. Turn it in to turn it in. <laughs> but anyway, man, it flies around here. So <laughs> we're going to we're gonna go to break. I'm just having a little uh, post, post uh, semester trauma here. <laughs> All right, you're listening to the Executive Entrepreneur PTSD. Hour here on... <laughs>
<laughs> on News 92 FM. News 92 FM. Weekend traffic. As you travel the area this afternoon, one hot spot to pass along, 249 Tomball Parkway outbound at North Point Boulevard. Construction blocks the left lane. That certainly is causing big, big delays, at least 25 minutes worth from Spring Cypress. Otherwise, traffic is in pretty good shape. I-45 North Freeway inbound between Woodlands Parkway and I-10. Hardy Toll Road inbound between I-45 North Freeway and 610 North Loop. Not too bad, actually. About 25-minute drive time. 59 East X Freeway inbound between FM 1960 and I-45. About a 25-minute stretch there. I-10 Baytown East Freeway inbound between the San Jacinto River and 59 East X Freeway. Showing no trouble spots. Just a normal stop and go. Good stop and go, that is. Highway 225 Laporte Freeway inbound between 146 and 610 East Loop. About a 20-minute delay at, uh, at last check. 288 South Freeway inbound between Highway 6 and 59 Southwest Freeway. No major delays. I'm Ben Martin, News 92 FM, 24-hour traffic. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez with the afternoon forecast. Hints of sunshine all over southeast Texas. Uh, we did have a blanket of fog early in the day. That is gone now. So for the rest of the day, north winds very windy through the course of the day. Because of that, our temperatures might be up to 60, but it's going to feel much colder than that. A windbreaker in order for the afternoon. Tonight, the winds die down. The temperatures really drop like a rock. We could see frosty weather north of town with mid-30s here in the metro area come Sunday morning. Sunshine is back on Sunday, but it's still chilly. Temperature Temperatures not much warmer than the mid 50s. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez from the Key to U11 Weather Center. Welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. Remember, you can watch and listen to our show at www.eehour.com. Call 713-622-6397. Again, that's 713-622-6397 to join in. Now back to our program. As we come back to the program, it's time to get a little <coughs> GoPad moment. Yeah, that was the sound of the GoPad beeping with the little green button. Whenever you see that button, you should go buy one. Buy one, buy one. Buy products. Make the economy move. Go to mygopad.com. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Oh, the stuff that happens during the breaks, I tell you, people, I tell you. <laughs> All right, so back to, yeah, so the whole answer, Stephanie, what's your opinion? Shay, what's your opinion? I think, you know, exp- I, I'm i trying to avoid hating, drinking okay. haterade, okay? And to say somebody is not successful because you know they do not know what you know is just foolishness. Sure. Right. And so it's hard to overcome when you see them, like, vacuum out a market and take what could have been yours had you had or had I had a better plan to go in and get that market, even if I didn't want that market. Mm-hmm. But then to walk, watch their sheep. I was going to say they're just sheep. Right, well, to watch their 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 fans and followers. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know. okay. So to, to watch them be mm-hmm. guided. And, you know, that's why I had that thing a long time ago at the Small Business Exchange about are you led by leaders that preach victory? Or victimism right. or something, you know? And so anybody that's like, yeah, if you just believe and you keep buying my stuff and tagging me in pictures and listening to my stuff. So, it, yeah, so now you can you can be an expert. As long as Big Mama thinks you're an expert, you're an expert. Well, that's what counts. you know, I was going to say to that, you know, I'm in an industry where there's a lot of people that claim you're to be experts. I am, I am. And, you know, doing the relationship thing, you know, there's a lot of people that claim <laughs> they're relationship experts. That's what they do. And I'm just like, you know what? I, I kind of feel like you just said, if you can't explain to me why, um, and of course there's the misnomer is if you understand relationships, you'd be in one. And I tell people all the time, that's exactly why I'm not in one because what? that makes no sense to me. I practice what I preach. I'm not just going to be in a relationship for the sake of saying, and this is my relationship because <laughs> I'm a relationship expert. You, and here you go. You, you didn't hire you a first husband to walk around with you and pretend like everything's rosy? Why? Why would you do that? That's part of the problem. It looks good on TV. Ah. As China lands that spaceship. Too many spaceship. people posing. That's why I have a job at all. As China lands a spaceship on well. the moon. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, think about that noise. That's, That's major. It That's is major. major. It is major because we're falling asleep. We're crying about STEM and kids not getting math and all this other stuff. But the mm-hmm. very folks that are supposed to be leading these people, the other superstars in the industry that have mics in front of them, are sitting here telling you about how they're watching TV programs. <laughs> It's that scary. Like, yeah. are you serious right now? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's an innocent fun. I, you know, I make an honest day mm-hmm. living, and then, uh, you know, I like to relax. Uh, last I checked, the only people allowed to relax were those that were dead. True. I'm just, I mean, seriously. But I don't think people understand the urgency, well, you know? And, and that's part of the language. Yeah. I, I speak point. consumerism. Mm-hmm. I point. speak consumerism. So people get really upset, and they immediately start crying and, and, like, packing up and walking out of the room when I get to that final section of the language course mm-hmm. about consumers. And how they live to be comforted. Mm -hmm. They live just to get away from the reality of knowing you ain't corporate and you ain't an owner. That's exactly what I was thinking is that people are so comfortable with what they have going on right now. Give me this wine and make it all go away. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you're really trying to be in business and and do things right, you've got to understand these languages and know who the players are. (laughs) If you want to be in the game or sit on the sidelines and, and pay for everyone else to succeed. Yeah. And at some point when you're serious, you get tired of that and then you start making moves. And it's a beautiful thing. Like I'll, I'll see people and I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I got this problem called I believe most everyone can mm-hmm. when in reality most everyone doesn't want to. Yeah, that's right. And so I'm sitting here just like, yeah, come on and we can do it. And come on. Whoa, we can start a business, take over the world. We could do it all. And they say to me, yeah, that's awesome. But they thought I was going to give them a ticket to the game. They didn't realize they actually had to show up to practice, suit up, and go out and play. Mm -hmm. And most small business owners are like, yeah, you know, I want to start this company. I'm going to go out. And you got all these friends and families and people that want to help you. And then the next thing you know, you two don't speak the same language. And you're saying stuff to them like, we can grow the business. But when you hire them, they're saying, can you speak to wages? Can you speak to salary? Can you speak to insurance? And they don't understand your language. Right. And it just it goes back and forth to the language. So you need to come out there on, you know, Tuesday, go to the Urban League, go to eehour.com and click on it. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we got a caller on the line. We're going to find out what that caller's question or comment has to be. Hello. So we're going to find out what Connie has to say. Hello, Connie. I'm here. Hi, how are you? I am super for an old fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to catch up to you. Okay. <laughs> What's your question or comment, sir? Question is, I don't know even how I tuned in to you. I have a radio I just bought that has probably the poorest dial select I've ever seen. (laughs) I was trying to dial 917 and hear the opera, but all of a sudden I heard you talking, and for some reason you must have magic in your voice or something. I've been listening to you for an hour. Wow, thank you. And and. But I don't know what I've heard. I absolutely okay. <laughs> because I continue to listen, and obviously I'm listening for something. Right, right. But I don't know what the hell that is. And you know, it's and each day I wake up, I have that exact same feeling. To be perfectly honest with you, you know, and it's one of those things where a lot of times we'll get a group together and we'll start talking because you know today yeah. it's really about. You know, how can I liberate the business owner, the, the corporate person? No, no, who wants I, to climb? I, got, I, I, I heard what you were telling me. I heard mm-hmm. that much. But what I haven't heard is what's this unique language? Is it, ah. you know? Yes, what, yes. What, yeah, what's the language? Well, I mean, I got to take this one. John. Okay, go I'm ahead. Go. So this is Shay talking to you. The first thing I would say is that you've got to come to the workshop, got either it. in okay. person and, or and I wrote online. That down. But but tell can, me again, it's going to be at 6.30 on Tuesday, repeat on Thursday, where? It's going to be at the Urban League downtown at 1301 okay, South Texas. Travis. Yes. On Texas, right? Yes, sir. That's right. Okay. So, and Eric Goody and probably said this online up, right? Thursday. Right. I'm working with Eric. to. Uh, he's, he's making it possible for me to share the word of language. Yes. Okay. I, I've been working with Eric for six, seven years. So, uh, okay. So make the workshop. Yes, and and I'll tell you, here's the language thing. Okay. It comes down to, I've noticed that in each circle that I've had the opportunity to work in and be a part of, we all spoke a different language. We use different terms. We have different motives for doing things. But at some point, we're supposed to all come together. But very few people understand what the other is saying. For instance, you know, you want to get a contract with the government or you want to, you know, turn around and get a, be a supplier for a major corporation or whatever it is. 
you don't understand, or in many cases, folks don't understand what the other person is saying to them because they're stuck in this, I'm a small business owner, I'm the backbone of America, or I'm an employee and I'm important, and they can't branch out. So the point of the workshop or everything that I teach on is having people, uh, giving people the opportunity to bridge what they know so that it makes sense and connects uh, to other people and what they know. So you're going to teach me how to break out of my language bubble. Absolutely. Yes. I love it. We're going to yes. quote you on okay. that. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Absolutely. So I get out of my bubble, and when I finish the workshop, I at least appreciate what a prospective pl- supplier is saying when he says, I'm looking for X, Y, Z, and I'm telling him I have A, B, C, but he continues to tell me, I don't want A, B, C. I don't really care because it's not what I'm looking for. And I'd like to add one more piece to this. Sure. And that is when you're ready to do business with someone and no matter whatever their role is in, in the process, you begin to understand what is important to them, what do they need to hear. So you take what you know and then you translate it and put it into a language that they understand. Right. And now they feel like, okay, you recognize what's important to them. And so instead of you being number 10 in line, you move to the front of the line. And I think that that's so critical. And that's the thing that I get. And as I look to get into different markets and meet different people. So, so who are you? And, 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 well, and I'll tell you, can again, you hold on for a break for me? To you. Hey, God, can you hang on just one moment and just uh, stick with us till this break ends? Sure. I appreciate it. We're going to go to break. When we come back, phone lines are open still at 713-622-6397. News 92 FM. Weekend traffic. So far, so good. Just your normal stop and go this Saturday afternoon, beginning with I-45, the North Freeway outbound between I-10 and Woodlands Parkway. No major delays. Hardy Toll Road outbound between 610 North Loop and 45, the North Freeway, about a 25-minute drive. 59 East X Freeway outbound between 45 and FM 1960 in pretty good shape. I-10 Baytown East Freeway inbound between the San Jacinto River and 59 East X Freeway at last check, showing about a 21-minute drive time. Highway 225 Laporte, freeway outbound between 610 East Loop and Highway 146 in darn good shape, actually. I-45 Gulf Freeway outbound between 59 and Nassau Parkway, no delays. Highway 288 South Freeway outbound between 59 Southwest Freeway and Highway 6. That's showing about a 20-minute delay. And no major problems on 59 Southwest Freeway outbound between 45 and Highway 99. That is about a 42-minute drive. And one other for you, I-10 KD Freeway outbound between 45 and Highway 99 in good shape. I'm Ben Martin, News 92 FM, 24-hour traffic. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez. The afternoon forecast looks a little bit sunnier than it's been in a long time. The rain is gone. The fog is gone. Sunny weather returns again on Sunday, but we're going to be very cool. Highs today near 60 degrees. Tomorrow, mid-50s. Overnight numbers in the low to mid-30s in the suburbs back to the north and west. We could see mid-30s here in the metro Houston area. Very cold. The winds die off on Sunday, but the sun returns, but it's still going to be very chilly. Look for that warming trend to start up in earnest around Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with Temperatures hitting the mid-70s and even low-70s in stride by the end of the work week. Let's quick look at your extended weather forecast. Rain returns by the end of the work week on Friday and on Saturday. I'm meteorologist Mario Gomez from the Key HOU 11 Weather Center. Welcome back to the Executive Entrepreneur Hour with Johnny Profit. Remember, you can watch and listen to our show at www.eehour.com. Call 713-622-6397. Again, that's 713-622-6397 to join in. Now back to our program. Okay, so welcome back. You still with me? Yes, you still there? You still there? Still there, still Connor, here. Are you still there? Well, okay. All right, well, <laughs> uh, I lost him somewhere in the break. Kanye, okay, I lost him during the break. Okay. So, I'm here. Oh, there you go, there you go, okay. Yay. So just, Shay, real quick, just because we're going to post your bio to the website and go to eehour.com and check it out later on. So okay. uh, I was a corporate person, uh, healthcare, communications, all that good kind of stuff, and then figured out that I didn't want to be an EE employee mm-hmm. anymore and a business owner. So I focus 
on uh, executive career coaching. So if you're doing what you don't want to do now, then I'm the person that you want to get with. Love it. Okay. So if possible, I you... love what I'm doing now. I just uh, obviously I, I'm not speaking the right language to get corporations to buy in to awesome. the service and product that I'm offering. Oh, we're going to work together either Tuesday or Thursday night or somewhere yeah. in between that. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I will be there at one of them. Awesome. And uh, right now, I'm not going to. I, I'm sure there are other folk who have serious questions that they want to ask who serendipitously tuned in <laughs> and 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 you know you got my interest up uh, i truly appreciate your call yeah. hey can you hang on the line so we get your information sure thank you thank you thank you okay so we got like uh you know two and a half three and a half minutes left uh i do i really want to know what the next caller had to say i'm just curious i'm just I'm gonna play with fire right here with a minute left okay he's gone good 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 okay so Hey, caller, uh, go to eehour.com if you didn't make it on there. And any of you, if you didn't make it on there, go to eehour.com to get more information about how to talk to Johnny Profit and the crew. That's right. Show up either Tuesday or we'll look for you Thursday at the webinar. How do they sign up for the webinar? Oh, well, no, it's all live. We're not going to do any webinars. Yeah, both of them are live and in person. Excellent. Down at the hall. Excellent. So the thing I want to know, um, because he hit a great point, he hit a great point, great point about the whole, at the end of the day, what am I talking about? And that's where Daniel, Redshift Riders, comes into play, and he's typing away, and I don't want to break his concentration. But the ability to create content and turn what you're thinking into, like, real live material that can be uh, disseminated amongst the people is a beautiful thing. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Yeah. So anyway, here's a big takeaway. Here's your homework for the week, okay? I want you to think about a product. I want you to think about a product. Here's why I want you to think about a product. And don't go in the basement and start making up stuff. Most of the products are already there. You can go to Alibaba.com or any of these online wholesale places, and you can find product. Your job is to find all these people that are moving to Houston by the thousands that are making anywhere from 30 to 100 and some thousand dollars a year, and you need to start delivering something to them. You need to stop trying to walk up to them and sell them social media and sell them and all that stuff, okay, uh, thoughts that you just Googled off of something. You need to get out there and start delivering their tires, bug spray, whatever they need. You need to start doing this because it's not going to last forever. And as long as you're in a business where you're worried about somebody picking your brains, that means what's in your brains has very little value. Because otherwise, if you used what you know to make money, there'd be nothing to talk about. And that's the difference between, hey, I could sit there all day with a mechanic that knows how to build Formula One race cars. You know what? Short of him telling to another team, he's going to tell me everything. No, John, you got to port the heads out to 3.7. You got to do all this. He isn't going to sit there like, oh, my God, somebody wants to sit there and pick my brain today. Because when you're doing real stuff, non-commodity stuff, they can't recreate it. Okay? So I'm saying that. Go find a product. That's your, that's your task. And I'm sitting on the go pet right now. I'm not going to hit the horn because it's really loud. Shay, Steph, what's up? Talk to me as we go out. What do you have coming up next? Um, I'm putting together some workshops for college students to help them transition. So don't wait into April and May to start looking for internships. And you can find me at Strategic Connections or MakeStrategicConnections.com and uh, get you to where you want to be. Yeah, because, you know, hers is going to morph from where it is now to she's going to own people to rent out to corporations. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've already taken your advice on products, and I have some things in the work that will be developed for 2014. So I'm a quick study. Stephanie? Oh, well, you know, I'm always into something, but um, I guess I'll just say they can catch me on my show tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll put it on the site. Awesome. We'll put it on the site. The coach, Daniel, what's happening? Uh, finishing out 2013 and planning for 2014. Products on the horizon. Working with wonderful people and uh, get it sold. Can't wait for the workshop. Can't wait yes. to see people sit in their chair shocked. So if you're sitting it. there and you've just had just a 2013 of, wow, I've worked so hard. I've just tried everything and it's not working. Come out to the workshop and have your eyes open to another perspective and learn the language of the universe, of the economic genome as daniel puts it and uh just find out that man anything is possible when you connect with the rest of the world have a wonderful week go to eehour.com to get more information and till then take care and all i can do is just pull some tea for two and speak my point of view but it's not safe
KROI Seabrook, Houston. News 92 FM. Here at the GED Pep Talk Center, we've got a range of pep talkers standing by.